All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to do something really crazy. I want to find the ith root of a matrix. Whoa. More precisely, we want to find the ith root of minus 1, 2, minus 4, 5. Now, what do I mean by finding the ith root of a matrix? Notice, in general, the nth root of x is none other than x to the 1 over n. So here, the ith root of a, that's just a to the 1 over i, and that's a to the minus i. Now, how do you calculate crazy powers of matrices like a to the minus i? Well, the answer is eigenvalues. So in particular, let's calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix minus 1, 2, minus 4, 5. And for this, all you do, you calculate the determinant of a minus lambda i, like Ali, A-L-I. And then what we get is determinant of minus 1 minus lambda, 2 minus 4, 5 minus lambda, and that becomes minus 1 minus lambda times 5 minus lambda, and then plus 8. Mm. And that gives you, so lambda squared plus lambda minus 5 lambda, and then minus 5 plus 8, which is lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 3. And in the end, that gives us lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 3. So in other words, the eigenvalues here are precisely 1 and 3, because you set that equal to 0. All right, and then once you find the eigenvalues, you can also find the eigenvectors. And that I'm going to skip, but for every lambda you found, you find a corresponding null space. So in the end, what is our result? Our result is that for, I, for the eigenvalue 1, the corresponding eigenvector, let me check my cheat sheet, is uh, 1, 1. And for the eigenvalue 3, the corresponding eigenvector is 1, 2. Okay, I hope that's correct. If not, assume you have a matrix whose eigenvalues are 1 and 3, and whose eigenvectors are 1, 1 and 1, 2. So, what does that tell you about the matrix minus 1, 2, minus 4, 5? All this means it's of the form PDP inverse, where D is the matrix of your eigenvalues, and P is the matrix of corresponding eigenvectors. So I'm getting entangled in my mic here. And so what this means, that's equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, so matrix of eigenvectors, 1, 0, 0, 3, matrix of corresponding eigenvalues, and 1, 1, 1, 2 inverse. All right, that tells you about this matrix, but now the question is, what is the ith root of this? Remember, that was our question. Well, the ith root, if you remember what I said at the beginning, all this is, it's this matrix to the power of minus i. And here's the beautiful thing. So if you have A equals PDP inverse, then A to the any power, A to the blah, just becomes PD to the blah, P inverse, just by multiplying out A squared, A cubed, A to the fourth, etc., etc. So the minus ith power of this, it means all you need to do is to raise the diagonal entries to the minus ith power. So 1 to the minus i and 3 to the minus i. Now, what is 1 to the minus i? Well, it's 1, okay, just for simplicity. 1, 1, 1, 2. So 1, 
0, 0, and 3 to the minus i. I'll talk about this in a second. But for now, I assume it's just 3 to the minus i. And then the inverse, remember, it's 1 over the determinant, which here is 1. And then you flip the 1 and 2 to get 2 and 1. And then minus 1, minus 1. So our answer, strictly speaking, is this. So let's expand that out. So this becomes 1, 1, 1, 2, okay. 2 minus 1, and then minus 3 to the minus i, and 3 to the minus i. And let's play around with this a little bit. Again, spiel mit mir. So this becomes 2 minus 3 to the minus i minus 1 plus 3 to the minus i, and then 2, minus 2 times 3 to the minus i, and finally minus 1 plus 2 times 3 to the minus i. Let me just check. Yes. Now, this is the answer, but you're like, well, hopefully we can do better. In fact, we can do better, but because we could have a more explicit expression of this 3 to the minus i. So let's do that now. So I want to remind you 3 to the minus i. Well, 3 is e to the ln of 3 to the minus i. So this becomes e to the minus ln of 3i. And then by de Moivre's formula, or Euler's formula, this becomes cosine of minus ln of 3 plus i sine of minus ln of 3, which is cosine of ln of 3 minus i sine of ln of 3. OK, and then, well, we have a more explicit expression. Let's just plug this into our answer. So again, the ith root of a in this case then becomes 2 minus cosine of ln of 3 plus, if you want, i sine of ln of 3. So happy of a big blackboard, whiteboard now. So uh, then we get minus 1 plus cosine of ln of 3 minus i sine of ln of 3. And then let's continue. So 2. Two minus two cosine of ln of three minus two i, or if you want minus i times two sine ln of three, um, or plus I believe, uh, plus two uh, i, plus i times two. Sorry, it's Saturday. I times two times sine of ln of three. And then minus 1 plus 2 cosine ln of 3 minus i times 2 sine of ln of 3. Seems just went a bit above the whiteboard, so here minus 2 sine of ln of 3. OK, and let me just double check if that's correct. So again, 2 minus cosine of ln of 3 plus i sine ln of 3. Very good. Minus 1 plus cosine ln of 3 minus, OK? And then 2 minus 2 plus, and then minus 1 uh, plus 2 cosine. Yeah. So that is the answer in terms of uh, real and imaginary parts. And last but not least, well, why is this the correct answer? And again, uh, you could calculate the i root of this in, 
in practice and do this. But this is one of the questions where it's easier to do it in theory. So again, what do we want to show? We want to show that if we take this thing, so this matrix, 2 minus 3 to the minus i, minus 1, plus 3 to the minus i, 2, minus 2 times 3 to the minus i, and minus 1, plus 2 times 3 to the minus i, we want to show that if we take this to the ith power, then we get our matrix back. Because again, the ith power of the ith root should be the original thing. But now, this is not too bad if you remember the form PDP inverse. So remember, this becomes um, 1, 1, 1, 2. 1 to the i, or oh, sorry, um, 1 to the minus i, 0, 0, 3 to the minus i, and then 2 to the mi 2 minus 1, minus 1, 1. So that's our a, i root of a. And now, if you raise this to the ith power, it's the same thing as raising the diagonals to the ith power. But then the nice thing is, this becomes 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 3, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1. And then if you do the calculation, you should find that this is minus 1, 2, minus 4, 5. So the theory works. And of course, you may wonder, what is this useful for in practice? I don't know. Maybe quantum mechanics. It's always the answer. All right. I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.